Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Uh, this is February 28th, uh, 2014, and today is opening day for the movie Son of God uh, by Roma Downey and her husband, uh, I think it's David Burnett, his last name is Burnett. Uh, they also produced the uh, series on the History Channel called uh, The Bible. Uh, I wanted to tell you about the movie. I'm going to give you a little review. I'm, even though I could easily give at least a dozen uh, criticisms of the movie, uh, because if we, uh, if we know the scriptures, uh, it's easy to see uh, mistakes. But I don't want to spend my time criticizing it, uh, because I'm sure that there will be many others uh, the the people on YouTube that are the dogmatists that want to like always try to find uh, ways to nitpick. Uh, I, I'm much more interested in in saying that uh, I'm happy to see Hollywood. This was a Hollywood production. This was not made by some like uh, uh, minor league uh, movie producer, just a, a Christian m movie producer. Uh, so if Hollywood makes a movie about Jesus and it, it, it turns out to be not heretical, then we have to say hallelujah because it does uh, present Jesus uh, as the account of the Gospel of John does. It, that's what it uses as its source is the Gospel of John. Even though they take some liberties and some, there are some areas where I, I would have done it differently and we can certainly find some, some fault in it. Uh, I, I would say the great thing about the movie is that uh, Hollywood is actually making a movie about Jesus and declaring him he is the Son of God. Um, the w one area I do want to um, find fault and I think is worth really worth mentioning is that the movie shows that uh, the reason Jesus was sentenced to death and crucified uh, was one, the, uh, the Jews, the Sanhedrin, they put him on trial and they found him guilty of blasphemy because he claimed to be the son of God. So this is uh, really uh, great that the world knows that Jesus actually did claim to be God, and and uh, that's why the uh, the Jewish leaders wanted him crucified. And there was another reason; it was all political, and that was that uh, the Jewish leaders didn't want, uh, especially at the time of Passover, uh, any political turmoil uh, where people were going to want to rise up and and declare Jesus king, and and cause some kind of a political revolution, and therefore. Uh, Pontius Pilate, who was the governor of uh, of that area from uh, on the Roman Empire, that they were afraid that Pontius Pilate would have to crack down and close the temple down, and uh, so there were there was a political reason the Jews and the Romans wanted Jesus to be silenced and killed, and then there was also, of course, the charge by the Jewish leaders of blasphemy by Jesus because he claimed to be the Son of God, uh, equal to God. So, uh, in that way, I would say that they are, uh, those are very good points that people must understand, but what they neglected to say about the reason Jesus was crucified is the atonement. Uh, it's very unfortunate that they did not clearly show, they did not, not only was it not clearly stated, but it wasn't even vaguely alluded to, that his death on the cross served as atonement for our sins. So that's unfortunate. There are a lot of other areas that we can find some fault in it, but I, I look back to my new birth, which happened in December of 1986, and the reason I started reading the scriptures, the reason that I am a Christian today is because of a movie. That movie was Jesus of Nazareth. When I watched that movie, uh, it made me get so interested 
that I started reading the Bible, and that's how I learned about salvation through faith in Jesus. That Jesus is God manifest in the flesh, that he paid for my sins, he, he rose from the dead, he gives eternal life to everyone who puts their faith completely in him. So I know that there is going to be some people who are going to uh, list all the, the, the mistakes in the movie, and there are some. Uh, but I want to applaud uh, the producers for making this movie, having the courage to make it. Uh, they are very successful uh, uh, in their own right in Hollywood as producers and actors and directors. So the fact that they're courageous enough to want to make this movie and uh, that uh, many people will see the movie now, a new generation of people will learn about Jesus being the Son of God, and the Gospel of John, and I pray that millions of people will then become interested and say, maybe I should read the Bible. <laughs> I pray that that's the result that comes from this movie. So uh, even though if I was producing and directing it, you know, there are some areas where I would uh, do it differently. Uh, I'm not going to list them and, and, and try to belabor that point, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm thankful that the movie was made. So thank you for watching. Go watch the movie Son of God and uh, tell your friends and family about it and then encourage them to read the Bible, read the Gospel of John to get it right from the scriptures. Bless you in the name of our great Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ.